It's all about networks. We as humans have created complex social, technological, and corporate networks. But is it possible that in our hands, we also have the power to create the most complex network of all? I'm not talking about the internet, no. Uh, it's just, a, I'm not talking about the internet, no. But what if I told you that you haven't even to use the greatest tool at your disposal to its fullest extent yet? And I'm not talking about a miraculous gadget from the future either. I'm talking about the most refined and extraordinary of all our sensitive organs. Not the eyes, not the ears, the nose, the mouth, or the skin. These are all just extensions, outposts, of the most sensitive and reactive of all the organs in our sensory system. I'm talking about the brain itself. So the question we will find out today is can we voluntarily and proactively shape our own brain? The answer is yes. An emphatic yes. You see, this essentially human ability has intrigued scientists all over the world, but just now, we're starting to understand it. We have discovered that we can self sculpt and model our brain by redistributing neural connections. So, it is therefore perfectly possible physically possible, biologically possible, to construct within us whoever we want to be. Now, now that I've given you this information, you have all this power in your hands, right? All this multitude of options. So how do we choose who we want to be? I mean, I want to be president, or maybe an astronaut, or maybe a famous actress, but right now, I'm just that you see that. 15-year-old student at the British School of Huge at you, and well, a TED Talker. Yeah. I'm just a girl in her journey of self-discovery, taking it one step at a time. Because I understand that to become the best version of myself, I need to define what that version is. And only I have the power to do that. And this might be the hardest step in our journey yet. Because defining ourselves on the inside, unlike what others define us on the outside, is harder than it sounds. You know, there's an interesting story that relates to this, about a wise old man and a woman. She was a mother of three and was in serious financial debt. So she told him, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't see any more options. I'll have to become a typist. And the man told her, huh? You're a woman, a mother, and a wonderful human being. Type if you want to, type if you have to, but please don't become a typist. Now I have nothing against typists, really, or any other type of honest work. But what the wise old man realized was that that woman was about to define herself as something she didn't want to be. So, if you, due to life's contingencies and unexpectedness, ever have to define yourself uh, as something below your human or professional potential, the wise old men would tell you not to settle. Never settle. Instead, focus on surpassing the limits society set for you and set them yourself. And then you can access the fantastical power of your particular neuron, neuron network, the one that is yours, and no one else's to reach the heights you intend to reach. Because the first step to getting our brains to its fullest potential is realizing that we're the ones to set its limits. We, we are the only ones to determine our own potential. So now that you've heard my inspirational spiel, and I hope you all feel motivated, let's dive into the science behind it, the mechanics behind our own brain. You see, the first thing a soldier needs to know when he goes into war is his own weapon. He needs to become one with this tool he solely relies on for the survival. And in our everyday fight for survival, for our existence, the only tool we will always have at our disposal, the only weapon 
we will always fight in our arsenal is our own brain. So we must understand how it works. Our brain is primarily composed of about 85 billion neurons. A neuron is a cell just like that, that acts as a messenger, sending information in the form of nerve impulses, like electrical signals, to other neurons. When you're learning, important information happens in your brain. Important changes take place in your brain, including the creation of your new connections between your neurons. This interneuron communication enables various functions, such as writing, for example. When you write, certain neurons which uh, convey the instruction to move your fingers, which then travels through your nervous system, much like cables transmitting messages. These electrical signals allow you to do everything you do. Writing, thinking, jumping, seeing it, even processing information. Each neuron can establish a connection with more than 10,000 other neurons, creating an intricate web-like network inside your own brain. <coughs> Possibilities of creation in your own brain are so vast that every thought, every perception, every sensation allows the brain to create new path neural pathways and alter existing ones in order to adapt to new experiences, learn new information, and even create new memories. But how do we create these new neural pathways? Well, the answer is simple. It is by training our brains as we would do to muscles in our body. During the process of learning, Significant transformations occur within your brain, which involves the creation of new connections among your neurons. Your brain possesses the remarkable capacity to modify itself, enabling the creation, reinforcement, weakening, or dismantling of these connections. With practice and repetition, these connections grow stronger. As they strengthen, the transmission of messages of nerve impulses accelerates, leading to enhanced efficiency. This is how you improve in any skill, whether that be playing football or dancing ballet or any other endeavor. Really. Now imagine me. Imagine we're in a dark forest, in a trail. It's kind of hard to walk through this untrodden, untrodden path, right? Because we need to push aside branches and vegetation to forge a new path. But with repeated use of the same trail, it becomes easier and more accessible. The creation of new habits strengthen these neural, new, these neural pathways the more you practice them. That is why if you practice your spelling, you should be writing like a champ. That is also why if you're shy, starts making efforts to speak publicly, you'll get rid of your stage fright. Just like I'm doing right now. So, however, if you stop using the trail, the vegetation grows back, and the trail slowly starts to disappear. That is why if you stop practicing a habit, what happens is if you stop practicing a habit, the connections about your neurons, they weaken, and they ultimately can be dismantled or pruned. That is why it's so hard to do mass after a long holiday as well. The thing is, this can also be beneficial, because you can also break out of the cycle of bad habits, using the same knowledge. So, by simply knowing our brains and a simple change of habits, you can restructure what is happening inside your head and ultimately reshape your own lives. What I, what I learned while I was preparing this talk was that there is a crucial difference between learning new information and truly grasping it. Well, the ability to shape our brains lets us go beyond the mere acquisition of knowledge. Because to learn new information, you only need to acquire new knowledge by study or instruction. But to truly grasp it, you need to get a meaningful connection, a profound comprehension of the subject that involves reflection, analysis, and practical application. So, when you go home today, I want you to think about the things you want to learn and the things you want to grasp. Take a long look in the mirror and ask yourself if you're satisfied with what you see. Ask yourself if you can improve and take the information you truly grasp today and use it. Remember that we're the only ones to define who we are. We're the only ones to set our potential and we're the only ones 
can mold our own brain. I have now given you the power to format the most complex network of all network networks, to exponentiate the power of the greatest tool at your disposal, and to strengthen the greatest weapon in your arsenal. You have now learned how to shape your own brain. Thank you.